Time series forecasting has been given a significant upgrade as part of Spring 22. In this video, I give you a live demo and show you what has changed as part of Spring 22. So stay tuned. In one of my previous video, I had shown you how to build time series forecasting. So before I show you the new way or the new upgrade of time series forecasting, let's quickly take a look at the recipe that we had built. So it's a pretty straightforward recipe. We had a sample superstore uh, data set, a few columns here such as subcategory, category, uh, city, order date, uh, quantity, sales, postal code, profit and so on. We then aggregated the data right so we aggregated the data by order month and uh, order date here and we found out the sum of quantity then we applied time series forecasting as you can see we applied time series forecasting uh, on the sum of quantity and it generated the sum of quantity forecast we then generated the output and that output was used as part of the tableau crm dashboard this actually becomes way simpler with the spring 22 release. So let's build this exact same thing and you will see that there are fewer steps to generate time series forecast. So let's do that and let's confirm this is sample superstore. So I'm going to go click on create recipes. I'm going to add my input data, which is going to be sample superstore and click on next so the first step is exactly the same we are bringing in data the second step was earlier we aggregated the data by order month and year now we don't need that step so i can click on transform i can click on time series forecasting and here i want to forecast some of let's say some of sales right and click on done and date for time series this is where i say i want order date year month and add that's it this will help me to generate forecast for sales in a year and month fashion right so we are eliminating that one step so let's click on apply and we'll see that there you go right this is the sum of sales this is what the the time series forecast generated and again i have options like I had in the in the previous uh, Salesforce release as well so I can apply seasonality if I want to I can apply model but at this point I'm just going with automatic uh, or auto uh, features right so I can click on apply so this is a huge upgrade I am eliminating one entire recipe node and allowing and, and building this in in the transform node so this is a this is a significant upgrade so let's click on save uh, let's call it time series version 1 and you'll see why this is called version 1 because we'll look at version 2 in just a minute click on save uh, let me now go here output let's call it and let's call it give it the same name time series version one apply and click save and run let's click on create dashboard let's see spring this year chart time series version one okay so what i want to do is i want to create a line chart i want date year and month and i want sum of sales sum of sales forecast and i'm going to go here a line chart i want single axis click on done and there you go this is my sales and this is my forecast 
let's make it slightly bigger all right so this is my forecasted line now i can add filters here click here let's say do you see this i don't have category here we have time series analysis done by year month and we are forecasting what the sales is going to be but a use case could be your product manager wants to understand what would be the sales by category what would be the sales by region and again last time when we built this we built this using sql code we're going to do this again but this time we're going to do this using clicks and using recipes which is going to be our version 2 so let's take a look at it create recipe add input data and i am going to use the same data set sample store sorry this one samples superstore click on next i'm going to click on transform time series forecasting we want to forecast sales so i'm going to select sales done date for time series order date year and month add and now i can add groupings here so let's go here and say category i can add multiple groupings here but let's do category for for now and click on apply and let's go here output i'm going to say time series version 2 apply save and run give it the same name save and it's now running so let's go back to data manager and wait for this recipe to finish running okay so the recipe has finished running like we did before let's go and create a dashboard so let's go here create dashboard let's go with blank dashboard and i'm going to select a chart here select chart it's called version 2 so let's do version 2 all right just like before i'm going to create a line chart when my x axis is order date year and month this is going to be sum of sales sum of sales forecast and i want single axis so going to go to line chart and do single axis done and now if i go here and apply filter or let's go to version 2 and say let's say category let's preview this right so now i have the option to look at the time series forecast by furniture office supplies technology so let's say if i select office supplies and select apply there you go right i am getting a time series forecast for office supplies so if you like tableau crm if you like the videos that i'm creating every week do not forget to hit like do not forget to hit subscribe and share this video with your friends and colleagues i'll see you next week bye